No good at all. I've been put on this planet to protect wildlife and wilderness areas, which in essence is going to help humanity. I want to have the purest oceans. I want to be able to drink water straight out of that creek. I want to stop the ozone layer. I want to save the world. And you know, money? Money's great. I can't get enough money. And you know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to buy wilderness areas with it. Every single cent I get goes straight into conservation. And guess what, Charles? I don't give a rip whose money it is, mate. I'll use it and I'll spend it on buying land. You're all right, mate. You're all right. <laughs> this is his territory and his domain. Get out of my eyes, lies. Not now. Get out. Hey. But you can see I'm shaking like a leaf. And this snake is totally unfazed by it. He's killing me. It's been good times. If the ants flourish, the thorny devils flourish. When he's dealing with animals, he only knows one way to do it, and that is 100%. Um, you might have cut him quite in the neck. This is a tiny little baby more. Oh, you're a bit sorry about that, mate. Got my head too close, didn't I? I, I certainly trust Stephen with my life. If there's one thing that I, Steve Irwin, would want to be remembered for is be remembered for passion and enthusiasm. Conservation is my job, my life, my whole persona. I'm on top of the world. I get to do the wildest things in the world. Aren't I lucky? The most brilliant, vividly, brilliantly coloured snake in the entire world. <laughs> I'm good, I'm fine. You don't, don't, okay, that's great, that's great. He's got, he's got a beautiful white blaze on his chest. Oh. He thinks I'm gonna take the banana off him. <laughs> I gave him the banana. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Just like my daddy. Just like your daddy. Australian crocodile hunter Steve Irwin has died.